Okay, um, I want to imagine your CMT 1300. So if you're a bloke, can you please put your trousers half around your bum? And can you adopt a North London sort of voice? Because a lot of them are like, okay. Um, it doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately, some logic are. But um, this, is, this is the sort of thing that we did with them. Um, they're doing a project on the public interactive systems, so big oyster cards, smart cards in transport, that sort of thing. And this is the bit I do to get them thinking about what they're doing before they actually go on to So the first thing they've done, which I did show to one or two people, was the card game. They've sorted through the cards in their groups. They've therefore got an understanding of the sort of resources they're likely to find and why certain things like academic journals are maybe more important than Wikipedia. Okay. So we then say, okay, we need to start thinking about, thinking about keywords. And this is a deliberately not a picture they're expecting to see because they go, what? It's not got a computer in it. So what do you see in the picture? Fruits. Okay, can you be more specific? Lines. Brilliant. Sorry? Lines. Lines. And? Strawberries. Okay. What else can you see in the picture? Prices. Prices. Okay. Other word than price? Cost. Okay. What are the prices in? Pounds. So what does that tell you? England. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's sterling. Okay, what are the people? Who are the people? Customers. Customers. Other word for customer? Sorry? Consumer or shoppers, other terms? Public, yes. Hunters, yes. One side of the student shoplifters, which we thought was great. Um, full marks for original, you know, you can discussions, powerful thing. Um, can you describe the customers? There's, there's a lady there with grey hair, what does that suggest? An older person, other words? Adult, elderly, pensioner, OAP, that sort of thing. That's important because in this project they're having to focus on who they design the system for and who the end users are. What's in the background? Iceland. Full marks there for spotting Iceland. That's always a good test. <laughs> Maybe Samantha's done this before, you see, so that's like cheating. Okay, now, so, so we've done, we've looked at different words, we've found different keywords, we've tried different things out, we've narrowed the search down from people to customers, from fruit to different types of fruit. Okay, let's do some bigger issues. What's the relationship between the market small and Iceland? Competitive. Okay. Other words you might choose to use? Rivals, yeah. Okay, so rivals, competition, that sort of thing. We'll talk about businesses, or we can talk about the economy, we can talk about stuff like that. From a natural sciences point of view, what, what, what might fruit lead to? What we've always been told to eat? Organic, yes. Sorry? Five a day, somebody said that's the yes. answer. So if you've got health science students, take it that way. Okay, and then the final one, because we, 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 you know, we've now got some broader things, is to then go to the narrower, to, sorry, to the, to, the, to the false drops and say, um, some fruit that are also technology. Apple and? Orange. Orange and? Blackberry. Blackberry and? Raspberry. Raspberry. Somebody always says lemons at that point or something like that or, or something, something hopeless. But you know, be careful what you search for. When you come to do summon searching in, in three minutes time, when we, we've applied this to your actual project, then you will have to start looking for things and it's searching everything. So don't forget. And then what we do is we apply it to the real thing. So that's their real project. We put this up on the screen and we say to them, okay, so you know, give us some keywords. So, you know, public, interactive, system, railway, parking, whatever. This is the one that led on to the oyster ice cream, and they were looking for oyster card and forgot to use their keywords properly. And we do the same thing again, the same exercise of getting them to think. And then having done that, we say, okay, now follow the instructions, go on to someone and do your actual search. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>